Hey guys, it's Nathan with Pandasaurus. I'm in uh, Chengdu, China actually, and just got this package in from Panda uh, Game Manufacturing in Shenzhen, where we visited. Um, this is Wasteland Express. They printed a slightly bigger box than we've been using, uh, so they didn't put the art on it, but just imagine it looks cool. Uh, and obviously they didn't print the insert or the booklet as art either, they just throw them in there for sizing. But if you wanna zoom in real quick or come check this out, this is the full tray setup, and I wanna show you how cool this is. So first up, we have the mod shop, where all of the truck upgrades hang out. Has a lid, pops off like this, and this labels everything in there, and they're super easy to grab whatever you need out of there and put them back. Shows the price, puts them right in there. If you see the trailers, you push them down and they actually pop up. Um, we actually changed this tray slightly to have this lay a little bit flatter than what you're seeing here. That change has already been made, uh, but that's the mod shop. We have two trays here. The first one is all of the goods that you use during the game. So money, resources, uh, damage tokens, all hangs out here. It's actually uh, mirrored on both sides. So you sit it like this at the table and people at both sides have a pool to grab out of. So you don't have to reach across the table to get it. And then we have kind of your game setup stuff. So right here, we have bad guy trucks. We have all of the artifact chits all of the goods and demand chits, or sorry, all, uh, all of the supply chits and all the goods and demand chits. Uh, and we have awesome bad guys like this. This is the other tray that I actually had to change slightly so that this guy fits in there a little bit better. So this is the other thing that we're changing. Um, we'll have a new sample of that soon. And the lid for that, if you look here, it's a super cool. That tray is actually the lid for what's below it. And what you have here are your player trucks, your standees, your action markers, uh, and your marker chits for each of the characters. So a single character is in a row. So these are all the player characters. You just pick your character, grab their stuff. That's how that works. Then we have mo the base of the game. Here you have kind of the mod shop price board you pass around the table. So this one has everything in it. This just has prices your market pricing board and all of the player markers or uh, player dashboards they sit here right here you have all of the outposts that make up the outpost part of the board except the four raider enclaves which are kind of special and go in their own spot you'll notice they sit at a 45 degree angle and you can actually push them down to pop them up so you can find these guys easy you have all of your octagons hang out here, and you'll notice how easy it is to get these things in and out because they have little hand divots for them, so I just put my finger there and they pop up easy. Dice all hang out here, and then obviously they didn't bother to print the cards for this test because it wasn't necessary, but you also have right here nine card trays that hold all of the different decks of cards, so you just sit your decks of cards out. You don't have to separate them before the game plays. And then everything just goes back in, give you an idea of how simple this is to do. Actually, put one too many card trays here. Let me grab this guy off. So these all sit there. These four go here. The rest of these pick up, go here and here. All of these rectangular guys just drop right in here tray and trays have arrows so you know which direction they face mod shop drops in like that booklets go on lid goes on and the final test I could take this guy and flip him and shake him and like throw him in the air and terrify everybody that I'm doing that lid comes off and other than a couple of chits maybe moving around within their trays everything stays exactly where it was you're gonna get maybe some slight shifting but not bad considering I threw that through the air super super happy with how this came out thanks for checking it out